Hey, what's up guys? This is Kreti Fox, and today we're going to be building a famous locomotive, the Union Pacific number 119. So this is a 440, and it's famous for meeting with Central Pacific Railroad's Jupiter at the Promontory Summit in Utah during the Golden Spike Ceremony for completing the first transcontinental railroad in 1869. Now, the original one was built in 1868 by Roger Locomotive and Machine Works in Patterson, New Jersey, but that was scrapped in 1903, so they made a replica in 1979. So this is what I've largely based that off, and it still exists in the Golden Spike National Historical Park. And um, yeah, it's um, actually been in the many years in the making. I had it in my yard for a really long time in World 1, so I finished it up today, and a lot of things has changed since then. Like before, I was using like a golden plucks for the yellow, but that's not quite exactly accurate. And I was also making it like overscaled, like this whole boiler was like a block taller. When in reality, it's a lot shorter. It's actually quite a colorful locomotive, you know, got the red, you know, the tan, and all these glow icons in the back. And as a side note, when I filmed the tutorial originally, I was using like wooden for the fuel because I asked someone if this is wooden and they said yes, but it turns out no, that's actually Jupiter, the other locomotive that's a wooden field. Union Pacific 119 is actually a coal field, so I added like a coal thing later. I'll fix it at the end. And here's just what the inside of the cab looks like all around very nice. And you can see it's quite a bit smaller than a regular modern day Union Pacific uh, locomotive you see right there. Like the cab's all the way up there, this one's much lower. And you know, Union Pacific has been here in this country for a very, very long time. They're like one of the first railroads and they still exist. So, you know, they kind of won the race there. So for all you Union Pacific fans, you'll probably like this build. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. And if you want to see more like this, make sure you hit that like button down below and comment what you guys think of this build. But anyways, let's get started. So first off, let's grab some materials, red nether brick, stairs, slab, um, gray concrete, uh, deep slate brick stairs, nether brick fence, red concrete, uh, polished blackstone brick slab, birch button, dark oak trap door. So first off, we're going to add in our red nether brick slab, and then a block behind it, and then stairs right to the side of that. And then we'll add in another red nether brick block here, and then three blocks wide red nether brick slabs right at the top of this. Then we'll add in red concrete, skip a block, red concrete, um, birch buttons to the sides of that. And then the inside for the axles, we'll add in dark oak uh, fence gates like that. And then polished black stone brick slab, two blocks wide, a dark oak trap door on the outside part. And then we'll add in two black concretes and a stripped oak wood. To the side, we'll add a dark oak button. Yeah, the brick fence on top, and the other brick fence in the middle here. And then we'll add in gray concrete, two by two. And then uh, deep slate brick stairs, two by two. Try and make half the boiler right now. Then we'll add in end rods, so it's gonna be two blocks tall, just like that. And then we're gonna add in a birch bun here, red concrete on top, flower pot on top of that. To the side, we'll add in an oak button like that. Then we'll add in two item frames like this. Top one will make it white. Sorry, my shaders, they uh, make, because this end rod here, they make it look orange, but really it's supposed to be white. Um, then we'll add in black glass pane on the bottom like that. All right, then behind, we'll add in a polished black stone brick wall, two blocks tall, and a wither skeleton skull right behind it. I'm going to add in an end rod here, dark oak trap door here, then two nether brick fence. Then down here, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate like that, and then an oak fence, and then an oak fence gate open up towards the back, and then a wither skeleton skull right here, and then a two by two of red nether brick stairs. Skip a block, add another 2x2. Two two. And at the bottom of this, we'll add in polished black stone brick slabs all the way across, and then black concrete on the top of that. All the way across like that. 
Then we're going to add in polished black stone brick stairs, four blocks long. And then a two by two black concrete and black concrete all the way across the top part. And then a polished black stone brick stairs upside down all the way across the boiler. And inside of that, we'll add in black concrete right above any holes that we have there. All right, next we'll add in a oak sign in front, cylinder here. Then over here, skip a block, add in a bell, and skip a block, red concrete, handle on top, oak bun to the side of that, skip a block, stripped oak wood, and an oak uh, fence like that, and a chain towards the back like so. Alright, next we'll add in stripped uh, dark oak wood, it would be like two blocks wide at the edge here. And then two blocks wide, Asia signs like that. Inside part here, we'll add in black concrete. We'll make that two blocks tall, and then um, another black concrete down here, red concrete. Then an oak bun here, black stone bun here, and a strip dark oak wood right at the top of this. Then we'll add in a spruce trap doors, two blocks here. And the three spruce trap doors here. And then um, towards the front, it's going to be two blocks tall spruce trap doors. Another spruce trap door back of this, open that up. And then an upside down um, spruce stairs here. Be right around here. And then spruce trap door in the back. And then three blocks wide of brown carpets like that. And then we'll add in a spruce trap door right on the inside of this. And then we'll add in um, end rods so they go all the way across to the front. All right, just like that. Then we'll add in an oak uh, fence there. And then we'll go to the back here, add a dark oak trapdoor, open that up. And then we'll add in two oak trapdoors and then we have four oak trapdoors like that. Then we'll add in iron trapdoors on <laughs> the first half of the back wheel and goes to all the way to where we have this button here towards the front. Just like that. And then we'll add in another brick fence there and then down the up iron trap door like that. All right, so back over here, we'll, um, we're going to add in the middle a dark oak uh, fence gate there, another fence gate right over here, open that up towards the back. And then a dark oak trap door. Then a red nether brick slab here and then two polished black stone brick slabs like that. And then a uh, red nether brick uh, block here. The blocks, it's two blocks tall. And then we can add in two red concretes. And then black concrete, two red concretes. And at the very back, it's going to be this cyan glazed terracotta. On the top, there will be um, red nether brick uh, slabs, just two blocks like that. Skip block one, skip block one. And then we'll have an oak slab, so they're going to make a V-shape, um, just like that. Then we'll add in the back here, it's going to be an upside down, red nether brick uh, stairs, two blocks wide, and then there will be two blocks wide of brown carpet, then two blocks wide of dark oak um, stairs like that. All right, then there's going to be um, an anisite slab here, dangling down red concrete with a flower pot on the inside of that. And then we need these oak thingies, so uh, let's try to do that. So it's going to be uh, red concrete here, just three blocks long. And then there will be this uh, red nether brick uh, wall there. Black concrete down here. Make that two blocks wide. And then right in the back, we'll add in two blocks wide red concrete. 
And then oak bun there in the middle. I'm going to just turn on my night vision so you guys can see a lot easier. And then we'll add in a polish blackstone brick um, block there. Then two blocks wide, red nether brick block. And then in the middle is going to be a nether brick fence. And the next to this is going to be the polished blackstone brick wall. That. Then we'll add in red concrete here. Skip block, red concrete. Skip block, red concrete. Skip block, red concrete. Add in hoppers to the sides of all the wheels. Then we'll add in um, this dark oak fence gate in between these pairs of wheels so that these are two bogies. Then we'll add in red concrete here. And we'll need a uh, you know, three oak slabs, red concrete here. And then, you know what? It doesn't even matter, you can make it full of blocks. The red, you know, the brick slabs all the way across like that. And then um, on the inside, just fill this in black concrete all the way across. And we'll add in a dark oak uh, fence gate to the sides of all the wheels. Just like this. And then the middle of this will add in two red nether brick slabs for each of them like that. Alright, so next up on the inside we'll add in an oak stairs here. And then a stripped oak wood, oak trap door like that. And then an oak stairs here, and then two blocks wide, dark oak stairs like that. And then we'll add black carpet here, two blocks wide, black carpet. And then an oak bun right there to the side. Then we're going to add an oak bun in the middle of this, and then birch bun on either side of that, like so. Alright, so next we're going to go um, all the way over here. And we'll add in a dark oak trap door right there. Then we're going to copy everything that we did on this side and build the other half. Alright, so once we have both halves, it looks like this. Then we're going to add in another brick fence, top and the bottom in between here. Then where the cab is, we got to add in a red nether brick slab in the middle. Then red nether brick stairs upside down on either side like that. And then we'll add in an acacia button here. And then um, jungle fence right in between there. And towards this front area, we'll add in dark oak fence gate. Open that up like that. Alright, then we'll go back over here. We'll add in an oak fence there. And then an oak fence gate. Open that up in the middle. And then I think I'll change the design a little bit if you like this window, maybe make it look a little smaller like that. Just change these into stairs. And then I'm also going to change these middle blocks on the inside into spruce stairs. Just so that they look a little better. Yeah, I think that looks better. And another thing we have to change is in the tender, I put the incorrect block. This is actually supposed to be uh, coal fueled, not wooden, so it has to look like this instead. So uh, yeah, we'll just uh, take some blocks here. We'll actually delete this, add in a coal block, um, another coal block here, blackstone pressure plate, and this blackstone slab, and then um, a blackstone stairs. Can have that like that. And that should be uh, pretty much it. Not a lot different, but <laughs> now it's at least the correct uh, fuel. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build the Union Pacific number 119 in Minecraft. I hope you guys enjoy the video. And if you do, make sure you hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you had already. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.